Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Now we will understand the concept of graph nodes and branches. So we have also seen the what we mean by connected graphs, what we mean by oriented or unoriented graphs and also the planar and non-planar graphs. Now it's time to discuss the concept of tree and co-tree. So what is a tree? A tree is a connected graph having no closed path. So we can also define a tree as there are multiple definitions for a tree that a tree is a connected graph that has a unique or single path between every pair of nodes. Let me explain you all these definitions. There is uh, one more definition for this with the help of uh, an example. Let's see here. This is a network and we have drawn graphs for this network these are the two graphs actually this is the same graph but uh, this one is having no orientation so this is unoriented or undirected graph this one is the directed or oriented graph so now we understand how to make uh, a graph of a network okay so it's time to understand the concept of a tree so as i told you that a tree is a connected graph having no closed path a connected graph means if there exists at least one path between every pair of nodes let's take this in uh, as an example to understand the connected graph connected graph means if there exists at least one path between any pair of nodes okay we can reach from a to e through multiple paths this one is the direct path and these are the either we can go from this to two to three and uh, uh, we can reach from A to E through these two paths 2, 6, 7, 2, 3 or direct path is 1. So a tree is nothing but simply a connected graph having no closed path. In These are the closed paths. If we have this closed path, these are the closed paths. These all are have, making this closed path. So tree does not have any closed path and we can also define a tree as a connected graph that has a unique or just a single path between every pair of nodes so let's make a tree for this graph this is the tree of uh, the graph as you should understand that uh, a graph can have multiple trees okay so multiple trees out of these multiple trees this is an uh, uh, this is a tree for a particular tree for the graph that we have seen the example our example so a tree is a connected graph having no closed path as you can see here that it is a connected graph because it is having path from one node to another and it is having no closed path in the original graph we had various closed paths okay closed loops but it has no closed path and also one feature of this is it is we can also define it as a connected graph that has a unique or a single path between every pair of nodes as it has uh, five nodes a b c d and e this one is the c node node number c it has five nodes a b c d and e and uh, a tree contains all the nodes of the graph and the number of branches is which are known as twigs the branches of the tree are known as twigs and the number of branches or the number of twigs is equals to n minus 1 n here is the number of nodes and number of nodes here are 5 5 nodes are there so the number of branches in this will be or the twigs of the tree would be 4 n minus 1 5 minus 1 is 4 so there are 4 a 1 2 3 and 4 4 twigs are present in this now we will see various properties of a tree the first property is it is possible to draw many trees for a given graph as i told you that uh, for a given graph we can have uh, multiple trees the concept is there should be no loop and uh, all the nodes should be covered here all the five nodes have been covered and there should be no loop so we can have multiple combinations of branches having no closed loop having no closed path and that covers all the nodes of the graph so 
a graph can have multiple trees. The second property is the number of branches in a tree that are known as twigs is equal to n minus 1. Here n is the number of nodes. So here we have a, b, c, d and e five nodes and number of branches that are called as the twigs are 5 minus 1 that is n minus 1 equals to 4 1 2 3 4 so this is the number of uh, branches and every connected graph has at least one tree this is the fourth property that every connected graph has at least one tree as we know that uh, a graph can have multiple trees but at least one tree would be there for every connected graph the fifth property is the rank of a tree is n minus 1 and rank of a graph to which the tree belongs is also n minus 1 here n is the number of nodes of the graph we will understand the concept of co-tree with the help of uh, that our previous example but first let's define few terms of related to co-tree we now understand that uh, branches in a tree are called as twigs and the number of branches is equals to n minus 1 here n is the number of nodes but the remaining branches are known as links links are the branches of a co-tree therefore we can say that branches of the graph which are not in the tree form the co-tree or the complement of the tree so co-tree is nothing but the complement of the tree as we have seen that uh, in our example this example we had uh, this uh, tree you know that uh, these are the re the branches are shown that branches of the tree known as twigs are shown in the red lines so this was the whole graph to make this uh, complete graph we have left it these we have left these uh, the dots that are shown in the blue color the original graph the complete graph was this one see here this was the complete graph okay the original graph and uh, this is the one of a tree one tree uh, a particular tree that we can make from this uh, graph as we know multiple trees can be drawn from a graph and for every tree there is a corresponding co-tree the branches of a tree are known as twigs and the branches of a co-tree are known as links or cords so this is the complete graph and here is the the lines that are shown in the red color are just the branches of a tree and these remaining parts that we have left it that we have left shown in blue makes a complete graph and these remaining branches are the co-tree this this part is a co-tree so we can say that uh, the total number of branches b b is the total number of branches of it of a graph is equals to the number of twigs plus the number of links okay so a graph is a union of a tree and its co-tree so by combining this this tree and a particular and for corresponding its co-tree we get a complete graph okay i think this is very clear so these are the twigs and these dotted lines are the links you can analyze this uh, part as uh, this and this whole figure that here n is the number of nodes b is the number of branches and number of twigs number of twigs represented by nt is equals to n minus 1 okay so number of links or cords would be as we know that uh, a graph is nothing this is the whole graph if we combine these red and uh, dotted lines red red uh, straight lines and uh, dotted lines then we get a graph so a total graph is a combination of a tree it any tree it can have multiple trees and its corresponding co-trees okay that uh, make that uh, graph complete so total number of branches would be equal to number of twigs plus number of links and uh, therefore the number of twigs is n minus 1 so number of links would be b minus number of twigs that is b minus n minus 1 that is b minus n plus 1 so this is the number of links or cords another name for links is cords so on analyzing this figure you can see that uh, this has uh, seven branches one two three four five six seven total seven branches and nodes are five and twigs are four n minus one 
to xr n minus 1 so 5 minus 1 is 4 and number of links is 3 if you replace if you see that uh, 5 are the uh, total number of branches is 7 and out of these 2x are 4 so we have remaining 7 minus 4 is 3 or you can um, uh, calculate this from this one also b is uh, b is here 7 7 minus n is 5 7 minus 5 plus 1 is nothing but 3 so i hope you understood the concept of tree and co-tree in the next video we will see more videos on the graph theory so keep watching my channel engineering made easy and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video thanks for watching bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye